Don't lose hope when one door closes, another opens. A world in balance. There are some things in life that you can always rely on. The universal law falls into this category, but physics and the natural sciences have also been able to credibly prove some things that can confidently prevent us from despairing at some setbacks. One such incontrovertible truth is this. When one door closes, another opens. The quote is attributed to the great Alexander Graham Bell. The brilliant scientist and physicist saw in it nothing other than the balance of things, comparable to the attraction of mass, or Newton's third law regarding action and reaction. Bell probably didn't know that he had achieved a real quantum leap with this guiding principle, even if not in his supreme discipline, the natural sciences. The parable of the doors is a groundbreaking philosophical and metaphysical insight that can be life-changing. However, here too, so as often in life, everything depends on our view of things. An open or closed door is what it is. However, just as the glass can be half full or half empty, the decisive difference is what we focus our attention on and what we place in the foreground of our perception. The closed door, the powerful no. Nobody likes to be turned down. Nevertheless, we have to deal with the fact that not all of our plans will come to fruition throughout our lives. The higher our hopes are for something, the greater the disappointment in the end when we don't get it. Whether it's partners whose love is denied to us, or jobs and other achievements that our hearts are temporarily attached to. The only healthy way to look at closed doors is to compare them to falling off a horse. The best way to deal with this defeat is to get up, shake off the dust, take care of the bruised ego for a moment, and get back on. A door slammed in our face means no. Correct answer. Thank you. Turn around and move on. However, we humans unfortunately have a strong tendency to stare at the closed door as if we're trying to do something about it by means of hypnosis or telekinesis. Some of us also firmly believe that it might open after all if we wait long enough, know the right magic or code word, or if the powerful people behind it change their minds. Our ego, then, needs plenty of time to come to terms with the setback and mourn the missed opportunity. But this behavior is not effective. The right reaction would be a shrug of the shoulders, an aha, or an okay, then don't. And the journey continues, because the next door is already waiting for us. The closed door, the big draw. What we often don't realize, or only realize much later, is the infinite gift and the great grace that a closed door was for us in the end. We only see the superficial rejection and the snapshot of our failure. In the long run, a closed door can be life-saving, directional, eye-opening, and the big draw for us. Imagine how many people wished they had been on the maiden voyage of the Titanic. Anyone who knows how the story ended knows the significance of doors that remain closed to us. The closed door. One detour, please. It takes a little life experience and spiritual grounding to recognize the potential in the moment when a door closes before our eyes. Of course, we would have had hopes associated with this portal, but now it's unfortunately no for us. Anyone who has had things like this happen to them before will simply turn around and continue on their way in a different direction. If a first date is not to be followed by a second, where's the next one? If an application for a dream job has resulted in a rejection, what other vacancies are there? We should treat life much more like speed dating, not like waiting for a bus connection in the middle of nowhere that only runs twice a day. We waste far too much time licking our wounds, brushing up our bruised pride and feeling sorry for ourselves. Instead, think of life as a magnificent fairy tale castle with a thousand doors on every floor. If one of them doesn't open, it's not the right one. Move on to the next one and eventually it'll work. The door that opens can also just be a window. The next problem that comes with focusing on the closed door is that we sometimes don't immediately recognize the new opportunity that arises. The really big things in life sometimes come quietly and without an entourage or a big movie. If nothing comes of the dream job, the promise of a temporary internship will probably seem like a mockery. Unfortunately, we often overlook the fact that this could be an opportunity of epic proportions. We humans have a comparatively short-sighted view of our lives, but there are powers that know the grand plan. If at some point in your life, you manage to recognize the balance between opportunity and setback, 
victory and defeat. You will no longer waste precious time mourning a rejection. Exchange good for better. A good opportunity seems like a great thing, but what if there was a much better one waiting for us behind the next open door? The saying, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, may well be true. After all, we already have a bird in our hand, but if we were denied it, perhaps there's something even better waiting for us. This attitude has nothing to do with ingratitude or dissatisfaction. Striving for higher things is part of human nature, and we'll never be able to embark on the path to enlightenment if we're satisfied with our humble existence in the here and now. There is a subtle but hugely important difference between dissatisfaction and ambition. A closed door will always give off the whiff of failure for a brief moment. We humans don't like it when our plans have to bend to those of higher powers, and our willpower seems insufficient to achieve our goals. We like to shape and organize our lives ourselves, and that's a good thing, but sometimes we're on the wrong track. Closed Doors, Signposts to Paradise People we can't have may be the poison for us. Jobs that are denied to us may put us in prison with one foot, or in the better case, into a solid burnout. Any other desire of the heart that is denied to us would simply not be good for us. As difficult as this thought is for us, a no is followed by a yes, a rejection by an invitation. Several universal laws come into play here, which go hand in hand with ebb and flow, the law of rhythm, or yin and yang, the law of balance. Even the law of polarity comes into play, failure or brilliance. Everything in between is life. <laughs>